What's up guys, Pittsburgh Weishwartz back again with another Rush Rundown. This time we're going over Project D.Va in the English competitive metagame. This is going to be a quick concise overview of D.Va's strengths, weaknesses, and notable cards that you need to know in order to effectively play into it in 10 minutes or less. These aren't meant to be totally comprehensive and we've included a lot of information so feel free to pause the video and read if I'm going a little too fast. And with that, we're going to get right into it. Project D.Va is really a one trick pony in English. You have a very powerful walling level one combo that's going to give you a massive advantage in the early stages of the game and you're going to ride that wave all the way to the finish line and that's about it really all it has going for it very good level one game with a combo that does not require a reverse and they're just going to try to sit on that and keep spamming that combo for the whole game so let's talk about it right now kagami len cl he is a 1-1 5500 power but he's never going to be at that size the other half of the combo is the rin see off the side there it is a 1-0 with negligible stats however when you play the climax soundless voice she sends herself to your memory and allows you to search out the len from your deck and as long as she is in your memory all of your lens get plus 2000 power and sit at 7500 power for the rest of the game very beefy and then with the climax combo soundless voice on top of that they'll go up to 10,500 power until the end of your opponent's turn and because the shot climax also gives power they will be swinging in for 11.5 minimum a lot of the other cards i'm going to be talking about are all meant to defend this card once you set up this field ideally the diva player is going to set up a triple field of kagami lens and keep spamming the shot climax so they're never drop below 10,000 power the first card we use to defend them is kagami len bad boy he gives all of your music characters 500 power during your opponent's turn and then he also has the effect where you can send him to memory to encore one of your characters in your front row so if your opponent is somehow able to get over the kagami len you can just sacrifice this card to save it for your climax combo next turn next card of note is hatsune miku magician she is the brainstormer of choice for project diva in english it is rest two to search brainstorm notable effect on it that you need to keep in mind it has the ability when you use an act ability choose one of your characters to get 500 extra power for the turn so all of their backups are going to be 500 stronger don't forget about that one of the newer additions to project diva deck in english is to wherever you may be hatsune miku she is a level one blue assist that goes in the back row, giving all music characters in front of her plus a level and plus 500 power. The big weakness to the Project Diva deck is level reversers. You're not going to get enough power to swing over the lens normally, so you got to cheat it with level reversers. This card giving the extra level allows the lens to sit comfortably at level two, avoiding every single suicider option in the game. Even the ones that send cause zero characters to the waiting room or to the bottom of deck or wherever, because the lens are one ones, they get around these two. So if this card's on the field, you can no longer bomb their lens. However, because it does give a level, it does open them up to being anti-changed at level one. So keep that in mind, you might be able to anti-change one of their lens or it can even deal damage to you. Then we have Eternal Sounds Hatsune Miku. She is the quote unquote finisher for the series. On the turn that you play her from your hand, she gets the on reverse clock shoot ability. Not very impressive, but this is as best as you're gonna get with an older set like Project Diva, and it can still provide that extra chip damage to push them over the top to end the game. Important to note, if the D.Va player is running the Climax combo that goes with this card, they don't always, but sometimes they will. The combo summons another copy of itself from your deck. However, the summon copy does not get the Clock Kick effect, because it only gets that when you play it from the hand. So make sure you don't get cheesed out by that. Looking at the counters that the deck has available to it to protect their lens, you have the Kagami Len White Edge, which is a 2-1 free fresh counter that gives 2,500 power. One of the more notable ones you need to remember, the Kaido White Blazer, is a level 0 counter, which is interesting, and when you use it, you give 1,000 power to your defending character, and it gets plus a level. So even if they don't have the back row Miku on the field to provide the level boost, they can still jump up a level with this card, nullifying your bomb effect. The other one we have here is Kagami Ren Suzuku Butterfly. This card doesn't really see much play, but it is an option that the deck has to hit 2500 power counter at level 1. Most of your clearing ability with Project Diva is going to come from the overwhelming power of your level 1s, but they do have a dedicated bombing and clearing options at higher levels. The most notable one being this Hatsune Miku, Demons of the Dead. When she attacks, you can pay the cost, and if you do, she gets 4,000 extra power, and your opponent cannot use Encore effects this turn, allowing you to reverse their early plays and denying them the chance to save them with Encore. Looking at some common builds for Project Diva, there's really only one that you're going to see. 
with the soundless voice combo. But the top end might be slightly different depending on what the second climax is. Every Project Diva deck is going to be running the soundless voice combo at level 1. At level 3, sometimes you might see them use the aforementioned Eternal Sounds Miku combo, which summons a copy of itself from the deck. But more often than not, you're probably just going to see them run an empty climax as the second climax. Usually you'll see a blue gate, which allows you to get more shot triggers to keep spamming your level 1 climax. But you could realistically see anything here, be it gold bars or red gates as well. And to just take a final glance at the set, the set doesn't really have a Ricky or any way to shoot itself up a level if you strand them at level 0, so that is something you can do if you want to be able to get your level 1 reverse combo up before they set up their blend walls. They really don't have any anti-change or bomb or clear options either, but again, they're just going to be tanking up with big bodies, so make sure you can hit that power threshold. The MVP of the deck is the 1-1 Kagamine Len, which you're going to see in the Soundless Voice combo, which is going to be the most popular build by far. And some strengths and weaknesses. Very, very difficult, very oppressive board set up at level 1 if they're able to get their full combo off. But because the deck is so all-in on that level 1 combo, one of its weaknesses, probably its main weakness, is if they're not able to set up their combo, the deck really is not able to keep up with the more modern sets. And since the Rin pulls the Lens out from the deck, if they end up with a lot of their 1-1 Len walls in their waiting room early, they can lose access to those Lens, making them unable to combo. So if you can have ways to mill your opponent on your first deck or make them go through their deck quickly, you can try to strand their Lens in their waiting room to deny the combo potential. Popularity of the set is very low though, so you probably won't run into it, but definitely important to keep in mind since it has such a powerful and commanding level 1 game. And that's basically Project Diva. If you liked the video, drop a like or leave us a comment to know how we did. It really helps us out. We're going to be releasing more Rush Rundowns on every Monday and Wednesday with our usual deck techs on Friday. So keep a lookout for those. Along with all these links we drop at the end of our videos, we're also going to leave some sample deck lists. I'm going to leave mine deck tech with yellow, blue, soundless voice below. If you want to see a more fleshed out version of a deck, check that out. And with that, we're done. Pittsburgh Weishwar signing off and we'll see you in the next one.